I'm about to have an audience with the living embodiment of the Hindu god, Teleju. My hope is that the Kumari remains expressionless. Even the hint of a smile is said to bring misfortune. She didn't, she didn't smile. As a matter of fact, she didn't have an expression at all. Okay. So that's so good that's for a good me, thing. right? That's a good thing. All right. And I also noticed that her feet were up on a little, little platform. Pedestal, yes. So while she is the Kumari, she should not touch the earth, uh -huh. and so she will be carried around. I see. And okay. so she gets carried around in a palanquin. Yeah. Even when she has to go to festivals and to attend other rituals in the city. This royal treatment isn't required merely out of respect for the divine. It avoids her receiving cuts to her feet. If she bleeds, she ceases to be a goddess. Of course, that day can only be put off so long. With the onset of puberty, this young girl must return to a way of life that may now be alien to her. It seems like this would be kind of a, a rough deal for a kid. It is a rough deal, you know, for a kid. But I think in this part of the world, you know, we are constantly reminded about our duty. Yes. And so in, you know, sort of the years to come, then people take great pride in the fact that she was able to serve her community by taking on this duty. And after she's no longer right. a goddess, what right. is she? You know, once she reaches puberty, then the community begins to search, you know, for a second child. You know, who will replace her. She enters the regular family. And She's I think become just a regular... Regular girl. Got it. 